Hi, welcome to another session of circuits and networks. In today's class 11 under two port networks, we are going to see a special problem which is related to current control voltage source as well as voltage control voltage source. So here you can see I have selected a problem which is having output port and input port. The input port is connected to V1 and current I1 is flowing through 1 ohm. It is flowing into the dependent source. But this dependent source that is known as the voltage dependent source whose current is controlled by the output port. So hence this particular dependent source can be named as current control voltage source. Similarly, when you look at, at the output port, you have V2 driving current I2 through 2 ohms into dependent voltage source. Now what kind of this voltage source it is? Uh, it is a dependent voltage source whose controlling voltage is at input side. So that is why it's a special case problem and I have selected this problem and let us see how to solve this kind of problem and how to determine the different two point network parameters. So here the question is framed as finding out hybrid parameters and ABCD parameters for the network shown in figure 1. If at all you look into our previous two point network classes from class 1 to class 10, we have solved different numericals under two port networks and especially we have concentrated on Z and Y parameters. So in order to understand the hybrid and ABCD parameters, we are going to take the help of Z parameters, we will determine the result of hybrid parameters, then we will cross check our answer with actual approach to find out hybrid parameters. And the similar way, we are going to continue the problem and we will find out the ABCD parameters for the network shown in figure 1. So let us begin with the problem. So as a normal approach, I am finding out first Z parameters. In order to find out Z parameters, these are the standard equations for Z parameters. And when the output port is open circuited, means what? I2 is equivalent to 0. When I2 is equivalent to 0, this 2 ohm becomes dummy in nature. In fact, V2, which is a measurement across to V1, it is connected parallelly to the dependent voltage source and I2 is equal to 0, this I2 over here, over this particular parameter, it is 0, so 0 multiplied with some magnitude results in 0 and since it is a voltage dependent source, this 0 in terms of dependent source is can be changed to short circuit wire because voltage generally is getting shorted. So that is why when I2 is equal to 0, this particular parameter goes to 0, the magnitude of 0 0.02 multiplied with 0 becomes 0 and 0 is terminated as short wire for this dependent voltage source. So that is why the here it is shorted. So I hope you understood how we have framed figure 1a from standard figure 1. Now we are going to find out the z parameters based on figure 1a. So you can see minus V1, I am applying KVL to this particular input port. So you have minus V1 plus 1 into I1 equivalent to 0, which gives you the value as V1 equal to I1 and I am framing this equation as 1. I hope you understood the step. Similarly, I am going on to the output port. I am going to apply KVL in anti-clockwise direction in this direction. So I have minus V2 which is equivalent to minus 2 V1, is it not? Yes, it is. So, this equation we have framed as equation 2. Now, with this, we are going to frame Z11 and Z21, where Z11 equivalent to V1 by I1, whose value is equivalent to 1 ohm. And you have V2 by I1, which is equivalent to Z21, and it is I1 equal to V1. So, I will replace just uh, I1 in terms of V1 so that equation 2 V2 will be equivalent to minus 2 I1 with this I am going to get Z21 equal to V2 by I1 equal to minus 2 ohms. So after framing this equation 3 and 4 we have found out two parameters of Z, Z uh, parameters we have found out two parameters pertaining to imp impedance of this circuit. Now when input port is open circuited so when the input port is open circuited, the resistance becomes dummy in nature and in fact we have the measurement V1 which is across 0.02 I2. So V1 will be equivalent to 0.02 I2, standard value which we can easily frame by looking at to the network. So we have changed in figure 1 to figure 1B 
as I told you, V1 is equal to 0.02 I2. It is direct measurement across the dependent voltage source, and this dependent voltage source is depending upon the current which is actually present in output port. I hope you understood this equation. Now Z12 is directly equal to V1 by I2 at input port is equal to open circuited that is I1 is equal to 0 whose value will be equal to 0 0.02 ohms. Is this clear? Right? Now when I am going to apply anti-clockwise direction for KVL for this output port, I am going to get minus V2 plus 2 I2 minus 2 V1 equal to 0. So taking the parameters on the path as it is. So this is how we have framed the equation 6. And yes, I am going to substitute equation 5 in equation 6. So that will be uh, V2 will be equal to 2I2 minus 2 times of 0.02I2. Here V1 is replaced with equation 5. Now with this, I am going to get V2 will be equal to 1.96I2. Therefore, Z22 is equal to V2 by I2 which is equal to 1.96 ohms. This we framed as equation 7. Hence, we have obtained Z parameters whose values are 1, 0 0.02, minus 2 and 1.96. In order to find out H parameters, we have the standard formula to obtain H parameters in terms of impedance parameters. For that, first we need to calculate the determinant of this particular matrix. So, delta Z is equal to Z11 multiplied with Z22 minus Z21 multiplied with Z12. So, 1 into 1.96 is 1.96 minus of minus 2 into 0 0.02 that is equal to 2. So, the delta Z we have obtained the value as 2. This we have framed as equation 8. Fine. Now, what I am going to do? I am going to take H parameters in terms of impedance parameters formula and I am going to substitute the value of Z22 as 1.96 delta Z is 2 minus Z21 is also 2 Z12 is 0 0.02 and 1 it is as it is therefore H parameters will be equal to 1.02 0 0.0102 1.02 and 0 0.5102 respectively remember this equation 10 now we are going to employ actual approach for hybrid parameters and we will cross check the result whether we have got this equation 10 or not. For that, I am stating this solution as solution 2, finding out hybrid parameters. For that, we need to, to open output port as short circuited that is making V2 is equal to 0. So, we have figured out figure 1D from figure 1 by short circuiting the output port. Means what V2 is made equal to 0. When V2 is made equal to 0, from standard hybrid parameters equation, we will be obtaining V1 is equal to H11I1 and I2 is equal to H21I1. With that, I am going to get the value of H11, H21 as two of the hybrid parameters. So from applying KVL to the loop, at the input port, we are going to get minus V1 plus 1 I1 plus 0 0.02 I2 as equal to 0. This we have framed as equation 11. I hope by now you have understood how we are framing these equations with the help of KVN. Fine. Now, similarly, I am going to take second loop and I am taking the output loop, that is, second loop current as IA. Just I am assuming you can take in the opposite direction also. But let us see what we are going to get by assuming loop current IA at the output port. So I am taking the direction in clockwise. So this becomes 2V1 plus 2IA equal to 0. Is it not? If I tell you carefully observe, IA loop current direction is quite opposite to I2. So I can say that I2 is equal to minus IA. This I am treating as equation 13. And I am going to substitute equation 13 and equation 12. Then what I am going to get? I am going to get V1 is equal to I2. Please carefully observe these steps. Simple thing we had here. 
the careful inspection we have done and we have framed that v1 is equal to i2 and equation 14 has been framed. Now we can substitute equation 14 and equation 11 so that i2 will be equal to i1 plus 0 0.02 i2. See you have here v1 that v1 is replaced by i2 that's it and these two parameters are as it is just v1 it is taken on the right hand side of the 0 and v1 is substituted as i2. Then what we are going to get? We are going to get i1 in terms of i2. i1 is equal to 0 0.98 i2. This we are framing as equation 15. Clear? Right. Now, substituting equation 15 in equation 14. So that v1 is equal to i2 and i2 is nothing but i1 by 0 0.98. So I'm going to have H11, which is equal to V1 by I1, whose value is 1.02 ohms. Let me treat this equation as 16. And again, I'm going to take the help of equation 15, so that H21 is equal to I2 by I1. So H2 is nothing but I2 by I1, whose value is nothing but 1 divided by 0 0.98. And again, it goes to 1.02 value. It's a gain, that's why you don't have a unit. In the previous equation 16, we have unit because V1 by I1 it is known as impedance and that is why unit is in ohms. Is this clear? So we have determined two H parameters from equation 16 and equation 17. Now for hybrid parameters, when you are going to take input port and you are going to open circuit it, then you are going to get H12 and you are going to get H22. So when the input port is open circuited, I1 becomes equal to 0 and this is how the circuit looks like. We have already drawn this circuit in figure 1b. So the same circuit I am taking over here. What is the catch here? V1 is equal to 0 0.02 I2. From equation 5 we have framed this also. From equation 6 and equation 7, we got the values of V2 which is equal to 1.96 I2. Is this clear? With this, I am going to get H12 who is nothing but is equal to the value of V1 by V2. V1, we have 0.02 I2. V2, we have 1.96 I2. So, I2, I2 get cancels and H12 will be equal to 0.0102. This is a gain and that's why it doesn't have any unit. After framing this equation 8, similarly, you can get the value of H22 which is nothing but I2 by V2 that is the admittance value whose value is nothing but 1 by 1.96 which is equal to 0 0.5102 moves. So equation 19 has been framed and hence the H parameters if at all you take it from equation 16, 17, 18, 19 you are going to get 1.02, 0 0.0102, 1.02 and 0 0.5102. Now, if you observe this equation 20, this is quite familiar to equation 10. You, play, you can please cross check the two different approaches and you can determine H parameters either in the normal approach way or in a shortcut way. It is up to you. So, I hope you understood this particular derivation as well as the formulation of H parameters and impedance parameters. Now, the same problem that is shown in figure 1, if at all we are asked to find out the transmission line parameters or ABCD parameters. So, how do we do that? For that, in order to obtain the parameter A and C, we have to open circuit the output port. When you are going to open circuit the output port, I2 will be equivalent to 0 and hence this is what the figure what we have already seen from figure 1A. So this is how it looks like. So you can easily determine V1 is equal to AV2 and I1 is equal to CV2 whose values are V1 equal to I1 from equation 1 we have already framed and equation 2 also we have framed as which is equal to minus 2 V1. Now A will be equal to V1 by V2 at I2 equal to 0. So minus, minus because of this V2 is equal to minus 2 V1. This I have substituted over denominator. So V1 V1 get cancels and the value of A will be equal to minus 1 by 2. 
So this is a direct approach of ABCD parameters. Similarly, you're going to get the value of C, which is equal to I1 by V2 at I2 equal to 0, which is equal to minus 1 by 2 MOS. Is this clear? So equation 21 and 22 are framed as equation uh, as the parameters of transmission line or ABCD parameters. Two of the parameters of transmission line parameters. Now, in order to obtain the parameter B and D, we have to take the output port and we have to short circuit it. And already we have seen from figure 1D, uh, we have framed equation 11, 12, 13 and 14. The same equations here we are taking because for the closed circuit at the output port, these are the equations what we can frame. And already we have explained how we have obtained equation 11 to 14. Just we need to find out what is B and D. For that, small variations we are going to do. First, we are going to take V1 on the right hand side, which is equal to I1 plus 0.02 I2. And V1 is equal to I2 from equation 14. So with the help of these two equations, substituting equation 23 in equation 24. Okay. So we are going to get 0. 98 I2 which is equal to I1 as equation 25. This also we have already seen from the previous derivations. The same thing it is done over here by substituting 23 equation and 24 equation with one another we are going to get I1 is equal to 0 0.98 I2. Now B is equal to minus V1 by I2 at output port is equal to shorted that is equal to, is equal to 0 and V1 is nothing but I2 minus as it is. So I2 by I2 will give you the value as minus 1 ohm. Since this is voltage by current, that is why it is minus 1 ohm. And D is equal to minus I1 by I2 at output voltage is equal to 0, whose value is nothing but 0 0.98. That is in the negative sign. So with the equation uh, what we have framed that is A and C, B and D, the transmission and parameters will be equal to minus 0 0.5 minus 1 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.98. You please cross check this answer with the help of Z parameters, then convert them into ABCD parameters. And please answer in the chat box whether you got the same result or not. So this we are giving as you as homework to please solve and we'll discuss in the later classes if required how we have obtained the transmission line parameters for the network shown in figure 1. So in today's class we have seen about the voltage dependent voltage source and current dependent voltage source that is also called as voltage control voltage source or current control voltage source respectively. So I hope you like this video. Please share among your friends, subscribe to this channel and please press the bell icon for the future notifications. Thank you.